Doctor Who Classic Series Action Figure Review. In today's review, I shall be looking at the latest Underground Toys character options release, uh, exclusive to Forbidden Planet, the Master and Axon 2-pack, based on the third Doctor story, The Claws of Axos. Now, this set uh, is very nice because it's the first time we have the very first and probably the most famous version of The Master, as played by Roger Delgado. And we also see uh, a new third Doctor monster that hasn't been released yet, which is an Axon. And the Axon itself actually reuses the sculpt of the unreleased crinoid, which was the builder figure from Wave 2, repainted orange. But I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a second. So let's just have a look at the Master first. Now, the f interesting point I'm going to make about the Master is that unlike most of the exclusives, which reuse body parts from other figures, this figure is a completely brand new sculpt from head to toe. The articulation is as follows. The head can't really do a 360 because it's quite stiff. Um, he has articulation at the shoulders which do a 360. His biceps do a 360. He has articulation at the elbows. His wrists do 360s. He has articulation at the hips that go forwards and out to the sides. He has articulation at the thigh, which do 360s, and at the knees. So it's your standard articulation with this figure. But it's the detail on this figure which is the most impressive. And in this case, it is the likeness. And the sculptors at Design Works Windsor have done a brilliant job with Roger Delgado. They have captured his likeness completely. I mean, I was very impressed with the Anthony Ainley version of the Master, which came out earlier this month in the uh, two-pack with the Fifth Doctor. But with this version of the Master, they have just got got him spot on, and it just captures his uh, iconic look. The figure is, like I said, excellent sculpt, lots of different creases and things, the arched eyebrow of, of evil and contempt as he looks down upon uh, people and mesmerises them. Uh, the hair is black with grey highlights in it, and the beard has the same with the two sort of whitish grey stripes on either side. Uh, the skin tone is slightly darker than other figures in the line, but of course Roger Delgado was Spanish, uh, so that matches up really well. The main body, like I said, again, it's a brand new sculpt. This is completely new. And you've got sculpting of the, uh, the pocket there and down there and different seams and cuts and things and creases at the back. The arms, again, brand new sculpts. You have uh, the white sort of cuffs of his shirt underneath and his black leather gloves, which are in a slightly glossier plastic than the rest of the figure, which is more of a matte colour, which is good because it matches the leather. And they've even cap uh, captured the, uh, the bit of trim around the side and the button there. When I initially saw the prototype of this figure and I saw that, I couldn't recall seeing that on his costume in the series, but that was the case. Um, so that's very good attention to detail. And the legs are again new legs. I initially thought that they were borrowed from the Pertwee figure, but no, these are brand new legs. And uh, again, it all f comes together to make an excellent version of the Master. This version of the Master also comes with an accessory, unlike the Anthony Ainley version, and he comes with his TCE. For people who aren't au fait with the, uh, the classic series, the TCE is the Master's Tissue Compression Eliminator. So the TCE is a device that the Master uses to shrink people. It condenses matter, or compresses matter. Um, it's basic, this, and this particular version was used in Terror of the Autons, uh, 
Now, in the Claws of Axos, the Master has a laser gun device, which is similar to this, but which has a sort of red disc thing around it. So, I'm not sure why they didn't do that, seeing as this is a Claws of Axos set, but I suppose they thought the TCE would be the better accessory, seeing as the Master then went on to use it in subsequent stories with, in the Deadly Assassin, and it came back uh, full strength during the 80s with Anthony Ainley. And the detailing here is, like I said, i just put my hand there, try and get it back into focus, there we go. Uh, you have a bit of silver there for the handle, and these sort of two grey lines, and it widens near the end, sort of a dip in the end, and that bit would glow red, and he would shrink people. And that fits in nice and snug, like that. So overall, the master, I mean, there's not really much I can say, because I can only sort of sing this figure's praises, I mean, especially in the head sculpt, because like I said, Delgado just looks fantastic. Uh, they've done a really, really, really good job. So definitely one of the main reasons for getting this set, because the master is fantastic. So the second figure in this set is the Axon. Now, as I said earlier, um, some of you may recall that when Wave 2 was initially announced sometime, I think it was maybe just after Wave 1 of the classics had hit stores back in 2008, uh, character options head, uh, Alice de Duar, uh, was on the Gallifrey base forum, I thought it was Outpost Gallifrey at the time, I think, and they were on there and they were talked to the fans quite a lot. Unfortunately, this communication has since broken down. And they revealed uh, secretively, in using a variety of riddles, what the uh, figures for Wave 2 were going to be. The one figure they didn't release information of was what the Builder figure would be. However, this was later leaked on some other forum, or through some other means, that the Builder figure was a crinoid. And pictures of this crinoid were leaked onto the internet via an eBay seller who was selling a crinoid. And the crinoid figure was this figure you see in front of you. Now, of course, Wave 2 has now since been and gone uh, this earlier this year, and the crinoid figure was not present as a builder figure due to a variety of reasons, I think mainly because there wasn't enough money for tooling. Which was a shame, because I was really looking forward to having a crinoid, because I really love the Seeds of Doom. But Underground Toys and Character Options have decided that they would reuse this crinoid sculpt for an Axon, and many classic fans will remember that the Axon costumes were later repainted green to become the crinoids. So they've really just worked backwards. However, there is some slight problems with this, but I'll go into that in a second. Now, I have to say, despite the inaccuracies, which I'll go into in a minute, I really love this figure, mainly because it's unlike anything we've seen before, uh, regards of series, classic series or new series, because it looks hideous, which is great, because it looks like a really good monster, and I think kids... They're going to see the master, and I think, well, this is the classic master, that's quite cool. But I think they'll probably see a great big orange blob-like monster, and think, well, that's pretty cool. And I'm not really a fan of the Claws of Axos either. So, the articulation is as follows. The head can do a 360. The shoulders are ball-jointed, so they can do 360s and they can go in and out. The wrists do a 360. The, the waist is quite stiff, it, it was practically impossible to move to begin with, and that, I'm not sure if it can really do a 360, but it can definitely turn from side to side. The legs are ball jointed at the hips, and it's uh, one of those V joints as well. And the feet, for some weird reason, are also uh, articulated, and they can do a 360 as well. And because this figure was originally tooled as a builder figure, some parts of this figure 
are therefore removable. Now, the arms, legs and hips aren't removable. I suppose you could do it if you boiled and popped it, but um, like with most builder figures, once you've connected them together, you can't disconnect them. However, that's not the case for the head, which pops off really easily, and it's just on a peg that pops straight back in, like that. So, the detailing on this figure is excellent because the textures of it are fantastic. I mean, th there's so much detail with all the different sort of veins and the fleshy-like blobs of this uh, of this sculpt, which is fantastic. And the paint job really highlights these. It's mainly one sort of orange paint job with some sort of creamy colours on different parts to help raise out the sculpt bits of black washes and bits of pink and like I said this all sort of adds together to uh, to make the sculpt really come to life it also has some sort of rubbery bits here on the front of the chest sort of a bit more down the bottom by the waist and around the back which are like the, which are the vines from the crinoid however we do know that the, the axons also had sort of spaghetti type uh, tentacles to them, like on the hands, so you can get away with it. The only problem with this, in that they've reused the crinoid sculpt, I say reused, it was never released, uh, but they have reused it, in a sense, is that it has a humanoid face. Now, it's not overly distinguishable, um, but you can see definite eye sockets and a mouth. Now this is because the crinoid is a human being that has been transformed into a plant and so the face of the human still uh, is still visible or the some resemblance to a face is visible for some time. However the axons never had any human features whatsoever. So unfortunately what you get is a kind of crinoid axon which doesn't quite match up. However, some people have made the point that if you're really going to be fussy about that type of thing, twist the head all the way around and you have no features, but it still kind of works. I mean, I was even considering um, displaying it like this for a time or maybe sort of just displaying it like that. So you have a, a more, I don't know, axon looking axon but no I think I'll just display it with the with the head forward the only and I, I can see why they've used the old sculpt I mean all right some they could have changed the head I think perhaps but other than that I think it's a nice figure my only slight gripe would be its size it's absolutely huge so overall big big thumbs up for this for this set it's fantastic you've got a great rendition of the master i really like the axon i wasn't too sure of it when i first saw the pictures but now that i have it in hand it's a fantastic figure i mean i really really do like this this figure um very heavy in comparison quite a weighty figure and that leads me on to my next point as to why it comes in this type of box as opposed to being on a normal blister card. It's in a nice window box with a nice picture of the Axon spaceship and two Axons on either side with a bit of spill on the back talking about the claws of Axos and all of that kind of thing. But as you can see here, this Axon, there's no human features so thanks for watching this review guys. I'm sorry that it wasn't as quick as normal It was just due to the post it didn't come as quick as uh, what they sometimes do and My next review shall be the newly announced fourth doctor and K9 from season 18 ForbiddenPlanet.com was saying that it's from Warriors Gate I suppose it could be So thank you for watching this review guys, and I shall see you next time